Hi everyone, this is Heather from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. And in this video, we are going to address missing files inside of Lightroom. But first, make sure you check out all of the free resources available on my website. Now, one of the questions I'm asked most often is how do I find missing photos inside of Lightroom? Now, you'll notice that these photos have an exclamation point to the top right in the grid view. You'll also notice that in the left panel, the folder itself has a question mark, which is essentially Lightroom's way of telling us it could not find the files located on the hard drive. Now, before we get into this, I'm going to strongly recommend that you jump over to the Flourish Academy. I've placed the link below and sign up for my free photo workflow course. It's free, so there's really no reason not to go through these three videos and learn how to better organize your files. This is critical when working inside of Lightroom. And let's talk first about what causes this problem in the first place and, of course, how to avoid it. But what happens is that a folder or files were either moved or renamed on your hard drive, or you were working from the memory card, which you then ejected. Because remember, your photos are not inside of Lightroom. You are simply viewing a preview. Your photos are safe and happy presumably, <laughs> on your external hard drive. When I coach my private clients, what I have found, the two biggest causes for this error is that they renamed the folder on their hard drive or they were actually working off of their memory card. Assuming that the photos are still happy on your hard drive, there are two ways you can correct this. You can click the exclamation point and choose locate. Or you could right click on the folder and choose find missing folder. And when we do that, Lightroom is going to jump us out to Finder. In this case, I'm on a Mac. This would be Windows Explorer on the PC. And I am going to navigate to the folder where I know those images are located. And here is this folder, which verifies, in fact, that I did change the name of it in order to demonstrate this issue. So you'll notice on my hard drive that the folder is named Final. But in Lightroom, it's looking for a folder named High Res for Print. I just double click that folder and say Choose and that message goes away and you'll notice that it also renamed the folder over here to final. But what if you actually did want to rename that folder? Well, the best way to approach that is to do it inside of Lightroom. So I'm going to rename this back to high res for a print and choose save. And actually what Lightroom did was rename that folder both inside of Lightroom and on my hard drive. Also, if you would like to move files to a different location, you should do so inside of Lightroom. For instance, if I decided I needed to move this folder elsewhere, I could click and drag and drop it into another area. And Lightroom will actually warn me. It's saying essentially, hey, you are moving these files on the disk. Do you really wish to do that? and you could choose to do that or cancel if that's not what you were hoping to accomplish. The key to understanding this problem is recognizing that your photos are not in Lightroom. They are located on your hard drive and Lightroom is simply a connection between the database and the hard drive. If you change the names or move the folders using Finder or Windows Explorer, Lightroom will no longer have a connection to that source. Also, to reiterate, you should not work from your memory card because when you eject that card, the photos go along with it. It's a better practice to copy the photos from the memory card to your hard drive and then import from there. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.